हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव द रीजन बीइंग बिकॉज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर ओवर फिटिंग एंड अंडर फिटिंग इन अ क्रेटिस्क मॉडल एंड इन शॉर्ट एनी स्टेटिस्टिकल मॉडल विच इज लेट्स ए लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन देर आर ओवर फिटिंग अंडर फिटिंग प्रॉब्लम नाउ वट इज ओवर फिटिंग टू बी प्रिसाइज when the model predictable power is so good that you cannot believe it it's predicting everything so perfect that is overfitting and underfitting is when your model is not able to actually predict the value at all now let's understand this much more in detail let's go on the paper let's uh, write it down and discuss it and then you'll get to know more so let's move forward without wasting your time so first of all as all of you can see this is my whiteboard let's talk about the topics so on one side i am writing over fitting and on the other side it's under fitting both of them are type of problem which we face where in credit risk models so both of them are part of credit risk models now let's talk one by one about them okay so overfitting what it is model learn so well that it has some noise and outlier in it that's the main reason so let me write model is so well learned that it has noise noise is a type of issue in the variables noise or we call it outliers so all of you understand what is outlier right some variables which are totally unexpected value showing those are known as outliers so this is number 1 now number 2 in overfitting okay so obviously this question will come up why we have this overfitting problem so let me address that why overfitting so there are so many reasons for that your model which you are using let's say logistic regression model is complex it's so complex that your model has learned so much that it's now fully a uh, bias in terms because it has understand everything from the data when you were preparing the model now the training data test data doesn't make sense to it and it completely predict the 100% match predictability power is so good that's what i am referring here now the second reason number one is obviously the model is too much complex so the second reason is too many features like you are keeping so many variables in your data set that it's very much confused that which is more important which is less important okay then third reason is when you have lack of training data so the data is divided into two parts okay let let uh, let me explain that also so we talk about split of the data then i will go to overfitting underfitting again so splitting of data is why important let's say you are given 100 observations so 80 and 20 that's a general market practice which we use okay depending on again your company sometimes it's 70 30 90 10 but i would say a great percentage is 80 and 20 this is your training like you are training your model on 80% of that data and this is your test after your training will finish you will test the data on the basis of this 20% now what is underfitting then i'll give you a super informative graph which you will see in between okay that's going to clear all the doubts doubts you have now when your mod model is having low prediction power in this you have super prediction power in overfitting underfitting it talks about low prediction power and second is super low accuracy 
the accuracy of the model is so bad that you don't want to see your model and your manager want to actually send you home so that is your overfitting problem okay now how we will define it that model which you are using is super simple here you are using a complex model here you are using very simple model now we'll talk about why this problem arise similarly we spoke about the overfitting so number one is it's opposite of it so number one reason model is simple you are using very simple model that's why you have to be very careful not complex not simple somewhere mediocre model and mediocre doesn't mean you need to balance it manually you have to think through and you have to understand the pattern of the data then you will be able to get the actual model you need to use okay now what are the other reasons so this is one reason okay for over underfitting now here the reason is many features here the reason is less features that you are giving so less features so that the model is not able to get the understanding properly then third reason is your model is highly highly biased for any single type of customer any single type of customer base or whatever it is so this is all about overfitting underfitting now let me explain the graph which is the main key thing here okay now let's understand the graph so usually how the graph of a logistic regression model works so you have x axis you have y axis you have a line here so you will have a sigmoid function like this and your data points will come like this obviously using the data points you will only create your model okay so this is known as a good model now in the case of overfitting and underfitting how this works let me make a graph so i said this was the standard right which you can see here now what is a overfitting problem what is the problem of overfitting your graph will go like this exactly following like this following this line only like it will moreover this line will known as overfit because your model is completely following the 100% accuracy which is not possible in real world data because your data changes so that's the problem of overfitting now what is a problem of underfitting how underfitting works here so let me make one more graph this will explain so this is clear right this was a generic model now how underfitting will work like underfitting will fall behind this line this is underfit so now you understand completely okay that what is a good predictable model if you have a sigmoid a uh, kind of a structure which is totally aligned then you have a overfitting problem in a model okay i think you could not see that graph let let me highlight that graph i think it got hidden behind my head yeah so this is underfit now good i explained this is overfit very much clear this is underfit now this is very important to split your data also okay so in today's video there are two three catches number one what is underfitting you got it what is overfitting you got it then third is split as i said 80 20 so to split this you have a library in python called sk learn now i am going to take you to a code which you all will get on my github account you download it from there and we are using already a data loan data so this will work on that particular data now let me take you through so guys i am on my desktop on my desktop i have loan data this is already there in the github and you will find the link in the previous to previous video and so many other videos also this is the data now i'll not explain the columns again okay this is the data which we are using 
for building the model okay now i will import this data i hope uh, all of you are following this whole playlist of mine see this is the code so this is the line of sk learn which you need to use from sk learn model selection import train test split this is the function you will be using this is the package you will be using actually okay now drop rows where the target column is missing so loan status i will use from the data once you can download the data and i'll give you the uh, data link code link both in the description box of the same video okay so you download it from there this is a important because missing target columns cannot be used for training and test data okay so that's why i am doing this step now separate the feature input variables output is not called as a feature target is and output is different okay which is your prediction default yes or no okay now x will contain all column except loan status it will create it as a vector y will contain only the loan status which is your target now so x df is data frame drop this particular column okay you are dropping this except all the other columns will come in x and y as a predicted value now you have two two things one is your vector x which have all the columns y only target column only default flag now split the data into training and test test size 0.2 means 20% of the data goes to the test and 80% of the data goes to the training okay very much clear random state 40 to ensure the split into it 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 depends on you if you want to depend on the 42 i usually do that if you want to do it is a random split of the data let's say you have 10 million so every 42 it will split the data so there is no bias so you should use this option as a random split maybe use 30 use 50 130 whatever it is depending on size of data now this is the command this is your code x train y uh, x test x training data then test data similarly y training y test equal to you are using the function split and this is your equation this one which i'm highlighting at the moment train test split x and y x you are passing as a vector of all inputs then y is your output test size 20 random split 42 very much clear and this will show you the shape of the data once you split the data into features it will give you that okay now if you uh, pass the the path of your file let's say you put it on your desktop pa pass the path create the data frame and run this code so you will be able to get it okay now on that note i will wrap up this video if you want to uh, get this code i already said you can download it from github if you have any doubt any question concern around the data and this code just keep me posted i am 110 percent going to reply to your comment on that note if you like my content please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel please watch my videos end to end completely i try to put as much as uh, value i can and please share this content with your family, friends, and your colleagues who want to learn all this predictive modeling stuff in credit risk. So thank you everybody. All the best.